Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Calm with Carlin, yoga and meditation for your everyday life. And welcome back to the final day, day seven of our Yoga for Self Love Challenge. Our theme today is very simple, it's love. We're focusing on heart opening postures and setting the intention of opening our own hearts to self love. We're gonna be started sitting on our shins just like I am now, so I'll see you there when you're ready. Sitting up nice and tall on the shins. Take your left hand to your heart, your right hand on top of your left. Close the eyes. Focus on your breath. Set your intention for class, this idea of physically opening the heart in order to open our hearts for self-love or if something else resonates with you, call that to mind now. And take a moment to feel gratitude for the beating of your heart, for the love that you give to others, and the love that you receive from others, and the love that you are now committing to giving to yourself. Let's take one big breath in, filling up the belly, the chest. Pause at the top and exhale to sigh it out. Blink the eyes open, interlace the hands behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open the heart, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Staying with this heart opening posture, bring your fists over towards your right side body and take the right ear towards the right shoulder. So we're opening the heart, we're also opening the left side of the neck. Keeping the chest nice and proud in this stretch. I tend to hold a lot of tension in my neck, so this is pretty intense for me. The discomfort is okay, but if you feel pain, come out of it a little bit. And then on your next inhale, open the heart one more time. And on your exhale, bring the hands over to the left side body. Take the left ear to the left shoulder. And find this same beautiful stretch in the right side of the neck. And when you're ready, slowly come out of this, uninterlace the hands, give it a little shake side to side and then come to a tabletop position. Couple rounds of cat-cow. In my opinion, no yoga class is complete without some cat-cow. Really focus on our cow pose here, opening through the heart as you lift the tailbone, and then as you round the spine, really focusing on opening through the back of the heart, the back body. So the midsection of the body is where we're really focusing on finding this opening in this cat-cow. Of course, if it feels good, you can add in other movements, but really draw your attention, bring your awareness to that space of the body that we're focusing on in our practice today, the space that surrounds the heart. And take one more round, take your time. Really feel the opening. And when you're ready, we'll come back to a neutral tabletop position. And from that neutral tabletop position, go ahead and come down to your forearms and lie on your belly, finding a Sphinx pose. 
Again, here we're opening the heart. We did this class, we did this pose rather earlier in the series. Remember, if you have any low back pain, you'll widen the space between your legs. Really just focus on pressing the elbows towards the rib cage and pressing the heart out in between the arms. And from here, keep the right forearm where it is for now. Take the left forearm so that it's parallel to the top of the mat. So you're kind of creating a T with your arms. And then if it feels good, you'll, you'll kick your right foot towards your right seat. Maybe you wrap your right arm behind you and start to pull that right foot towards the seat as you continue to open the heart. Keep breathing. And then slowly let go, switch out the arms. The left arm comes back to where it was. The right forearm comes parallel to the top of the mat. You can stay here, or maybe you kick that left foot towards the seat. Stay here, or bring the left arm around and grab onto the left foot, continuing to open the heart as you press the foot towards the seat, opening the quads. Specifically, the ground. Create that shape, the shape of an L your left arm. Side of the right side of your chest and roll onto your left side, picking up the right foot and maybe taking it behind you. This is more of an opening in the front of the shoulders or opening all of the front body. And then slowly reset, come back to center, switch out the arms, the right arm comes to a cactus shape, the left arm, the left fingertips rather, um, tent outside of the left side of the chest and you gently roll onto your right side, taking that left foot behind you, trying not to go too far and turn my mic off. And then slowly unwind, coming back through center and lifting up into a baby cobra and then exhaling it back to a downward facing dog. <sighs> From your downward facing dog, bend the knees, look to the top of the mat, walk your feet to your hands, interlace the hands behind the back and fold forward as you take the hands behind the head. You can still shake the head yes and no here. Maybe bend one knee at a time. As you Whatever feels good to open. And then let the fingertips come back down to the ground and slowly roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Your head will be the last thing to come up. Take an inhale, fingertips lift up. Exhale, cactus the arms open through the chest. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back to your downward facing dog. Take an inhale, lift the right leg, open up the hip. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands. Open up, warrior two back foot spins parallel to the back edge of the mat. Stay here, staying nice and open. And then inhale, bring the right hand, right forearm to the right thigh, left fingertips up and over the head. For more of an opening in the front body, you'll take your left hand behind your back and grab for your right hip crease as you open through the heart. One more inhale here. Stay for your exhale. And if you're in that bind, you'll keep the bind as you straighten through the right leg and lift the right fingertips up and over behind you, finding a revolved warrior. 
And then inhale, come back to warrior two. And exhale, straighten through both of the legs as you face the toes towards the long edge of the mat. Open up through the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, interlace the hands, and then fold forward, opening through the shoulders as you take the crown of the head towards the ground. When you're ready, interlace, uninterlace the hands and slowly come all the way up to standing. Take it back to a warrior two just to transition and then cartwheel the hands and step back to your downward facing dog. Take an inhale, lift the left leg high, open up that left knee and then step the left foot in between the hands, open up to a warrior two. Back foot is parallel to the back edge of the mat. Hips are open, heart is open, chest is nice and proud. Take an inhale, bring your left forearm to your left thigh, right fingertips reach up and over the head, or maybe you find that half bind to open up more through the front body, bringing the right hand behind the back and grabbing for your left hip crease. Stay nice and open here as you find your breath. And then keep the bind, if you have it, straighten through the left leg as you reach the left arm up and over behind you for your revolved warrior. Come back to your warrior two, and then straighten through both of the legs, this time heel toe your feet a little bit closer together. Toes will face out, heels will face in. Cactus the arms and sink down to your goddess pose. Focus on tucking the tailbone, keeping the heart nice and open, engaging the core. And we'll just pulse down an inch and up an inch for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way up. Find your warrior two, just to transition. And then cartwheel the hands and step back to your downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, come forward, find a high plank and slowly come all the way down to the belly. You can drop the knees if that's more accessible as you slowly lower down. Resting one of your cheeks on the ground, taking a moment of reset before we find a few back bends on our belly, focusing on the opening in the heart. Take the chin or the forehead to the ground, arms long behind you, palms can face up or down. Take an inhale. Squeeze the big toes together, open through the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep your neck nice and neutral, gazing diagonally forward. Take one more inhale here, and on your exhale, lower down and rest on the opposite cheek. Round two, come back through center or chin to the ground. Take an inhale, lift everything up. Maybe this time you interlace the hands, squeeze the shoulders, lift up one inch higher. Stay for five, four, three, two, one, lower down, rest on the opposite cheek. One more heart opening back bend here. You can take a locust pose like we just did, or you can go for a bow pose and I'll cue you through that. Take an inhale, come back through center, forehead or chin to the ground. Kick the feet in towards the seat, hips width distance apart. Inhale to grab the tops of the feet with the hands. Exhale, lift up, find your bow pose. Really focus on squeezing the shoulders together, lifting the quads off of the ground. We're just here for five, four, three, two, one, slowly lower down and sit yourself back into a child's pose. 
allowing the shoulders to round forward, countering those heart opening postures. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly transition onto our backs, setting up for our final Shavasana of the Yoga for Self-Love Challenge. Finding a comfortable place to rest. And for the purpose of our intention of this class, I invite you to bring your hands to your heart. Maybe one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Again, find that gratitude. Focusing on the beating of the heart, the softness of the breath, relaxing the face, just allowing yourself to melt into the ground beneath you, resting assured that you are supported and you are safe. Using this last moment of rest to welcome self-love not only into your yoga practice, but into your life and into your, into your year. As you start to reawaken and come out of this rest, deepen the breath and set your intention for what happens when you step off of the mat. What is one action step you can take towards developing a closer relationship with yourself and cultivating that sense self-love When you're ready, give yourself a nice big hug, knees into the chest. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. One more time, big breath in, long breath out. And when you're ready, slowly rock yourself up to a seated position. Eyes can be opened or closed. And thank you all so much for participating in the Yoga for Self-Love Challenge. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to share this with your friends and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you back here soon. Namaste.